This is Denise with PurplePaperParadise.com and today we are going to be making uh, an 8x8 scrapbook layout and we're going to do a couple of different things here with the eCraft Shop Pro software to do that. First off, we are going to do a little bit of a different take on some images from the Craftwell SD cards. For this project, I'm going to use the Jen Allison Celebrates uh, SD card, and I'm under the Words category. And I'm going to select this one here that says Deck the Halls. And first off, when you bring this in, you'll see that it has the draw lines that go inside the ornaments right here. And you can place them as such. And also, these black lines are the cut lines. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different with this, though, because I do not want to have these draw lines. And I want to actually do something with this full cut file here. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so it's easier for everyone to see what we're going to do with this. But right now we have this set up as a cut file, and uh, that size is probably pretty good right there. Maybe a smidge over like that. That's good. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy and paste this image. So I hit the copy button, and now I hit the paste button. And when you do that, you'll see a duplicate of the exact same thing directly underneath the first one. Now I'm going to select the first one. And I'm going to make all of this be a draw line. So instead of using the blade, it's going to use the pen. And now with this one, I'm actually going to go to the style here and create a shadow blackout on this. And now I'm just going to move this up here and I'm going to do my best to line it up. Use these nudge buttons if I need to. And so now what we're going to have is we're going to have one big cut outline and then the words are going to be drawn inside of that uh, cut out. So that's the first thing that we're going to do here on this layout. Now I'm going to go ahead and start a, another new project because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be importing an SVG file. To do that we go to our import SVG icon right here. And I've selected this one here. It's from Images by Heather M's blog. And I will have a link to that on my blog so you can see her site. She's got lots of really nice things. And we're bringing in this curly branch Christmas tree. And I am going to make this bigger, probably about right there. And then I do have this all set up so that it will be cut out. And so now I have the first image is this cutout for my scrapbook layout and then we're going to have this for our scrapbook layout as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get those cut out and we'll put together our 8x8 scrapbook layout. Uh -huh. 